Militants in the eastern Ghouta district of Syria are indiscriminately shelling the capital, Damascus, according to Russia's defense ministry. That's despite the United Nations voting on Saturday to implement a ceasefire. Our war correspondent Murad Gazdiev was here in the studio earlier with the details. Russian Reconciliation Center, ceasefire monitoring center in Syria, says that over the last 24 hours, rebels in East Ghouta launched no less than 31 shells into Damascus. And uh, I know what that looks like. Every time we've uh, stayed in Damascus, every mm. time we've been in Damascus, we have heard those shells uh, landing all over the capital, all over Damascus, because East Ghouta is the last rebel stronghold in the vicinity of the capital, the last uh, stranglehold, you know, the, 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 the revolution's echoes, mm. because all other enclaves around the capital have been uh, have been retaken by the Syrian government. Nevertheless, these, these uh, incidents of shelling, they're very random. They shell blindly, you know. A shell might land in a market, it might land in a military base, in a hospital, in a government building. And uh, usually there's a lot of casualties. Over the last 24 hours, a dozen uh, casualties, uh, say Syrian authorities. But uh, the rebels in East Ghouta, Jaish al Islam, the army of Islam, which holds, uh, which is the most powerful rebel group in East Ghouta, it says that it is abiding. Uh, by this ceasefire. It says that it is being shelled and bombed by the Syrian government, uh, and that is indeed happening. There are airstrikes, uh, from what we've uh, gathered from the various reports, there are airstrikes ongoing against uh, East Ghouta, against Jaish al-Islam, the army of Islam. But uh, the Syrians are saying that, you know, the rebels are, are shooting at us, and the rebels are saying the Syrians are shooting at mm. us. So there's no ceasefire to speak of uh, quite yet. The Russian Defense Ministry also said that according to its sources, armed groups in eastern Ghouta are preparing to use chemical weapons in order to provoke outside forces into attacking the Syrian government. Political science professor Magdad Botris believes terrorists, the terrorists have no intention of respecting the ceasefire. It's naive to say uh, we have to stop violence overnight and ceasefire overnight simply because all uh, the parties involved have interest to continue on with this violence. Terrorist groups have instructions to escalate violence. Uh, uh, terrorist groups are in the state of desperate. They are so desperate. That's why I can believe that they, uh, uh, they can use chemical weapons as the last card on the table. 